Because nylon, hard to bust. All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most shot of fire. Shot of fire, shot of fire. All right. We're about to talk about DeMarco and Massacre. Well, Massacre himself posted on his music, Massacre Music on Instagram. The man said, I really was, I really want to give you no, no hype, but don't ever count out ghetto youths the man said me no, me no really want to give you no hype but don't ever count out ghetto youths you see me now as he says that he's referring to DeMarco and an interview that DeMarco did on on stage with Mr. Winfred Williams and on that video DeMarco kind of style him still enough yeah man <laughs> you know see all mad man crawl out of, out of <laughs> gully and a bus go <laughs> for invest in a a product like how Corey invest in a product for conscience but for, for massacre and call it um is a like a nylon card for fishermen mm -hmm. and say massacre's nylon hard to bus <laughs> you see me <laughs> can you know I nylon card hard for bus you see me you see me him really really style the man but you know what I'm saying today for you tomorrow for me so massacre thing shot since then and him boss since then. So now that he has solidified himself in dancehall music, when it's a massacre, everybody know who massacre is. Him have a whole movement behind him now. You understand? Just like how you have Alkaline with him Vendetta thing, and you have Vibes Cartel with him Gaza thing, and you have Mavado with him Gully thing, you also have massacre with theme genocide movement. And it is strong now. Stronger than it was when this interview was done by DeMarco. Now, here's the thing. So I'm true a few words. Now, the song that Massacre just recently released with the video about the grandpa something or grandfather. Grandfather something. You don't need to go see that video there because honestly and truly I was supposed to do a review, pen and paper review on it. And I thought it was just well put. You understand? Brought him back to his storytelling days, like the, I believe it was Tyler and something else. I don't remember the name of the thing where he did do before. And he said, yeah, he's a wicked storyteller, this and all. And now he did it again, right? But anyhow, as you can see after the comment where he said, I really want to give you a hype, but don't ever count out ghetto youths. Now people are saying, who is you if you talk about give Marco a hype? Believe it or not, there are a lot of people that are saying the Marco absent off of the scene, theme thing dead. Him, him not there in a dance hall no more, him disappear, him not even the Jamaica no more. And I remember other artists getting treated the same way as well when they skipped the island and went to live overseas. Sometimes I just that them off it do in order to broaden the brand globally. But I have noticed that the Marco has been doing a whole lot of music that seems to be geared towards Africa. But you know, Sam have the little business relationship there with uh, Akon, and Akon is very strong in Africa, and also a businessman as well. So, I don't know. But, you know, the marketing big over in Africa as well. But like I've said, genocide thing has grown tremendously since this interview. Now, in the interview, I'm style the man. I'm saying to myself, we need this. We need this. Because I honestly feel like him try the marker. It's like I'm not true word thing, you know. This is a direct discuss the man I'll post video. You understand? So this need a reply. This need a reply. Whether the marker is gonna come out and say, Alright, you so you take your bashing and you do the work. And this is what it's supposed to be. Congratulations, you reach where you're there, keep on pushing. Cause this is what it takes, but him style the man I say um if him still I make music hashtag the Marco still does music Massacre wants to know so the tropics you know the tropics say uh, the Marco wants to uh, Massacre wants to know if the Marco still makes music because him tag the Marco in a it and say you still a sing <laughs> Now, Fame for said that about the man, right? And the market just released a, a good couple of bodies of work which has racked up their many views. 
in the millions on YouTube and he's streaming in other places and him still are doing thing, right? So for Massacre to say, if you still are sing, that means say you're forgotten. You understand? You're irrelevant to the culture now because we haven't heard from you in so long. Me take over now. I'm here running place now. I'm my time now. That is basically what that statement says to me. It's a loaded statement and it's a pop, 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 pop. It's a fire. It's a fire hard. And I believe that DeMarco definitely needs to answer. Now, hear this. Given what just happened recently, do you think that you know you know i'm not even asked a question there i was gonna say could they be the next versus clash bring jamaica and yes yes they could they could bring jamaica to the forefront again and i also will stick my hand and neck out there and say if the marco and massacre were to actually clash on versus now you have to give them time for preparing or make them understand so them can't chip too much F word, F bombs and all these things. They have to keep it pretty much relatively clean like how Bounty and Beanie did in a few them thing. Even though him says stuff like man a bad man, wicked man, a tech man, fit toy, black in a man, mark, kill and destroy. But him never say anything about the F word. You know the offensive language. So if them could have cleaned it up and come forward with it. I believe that this would be an epic battle. Matter of fact, I'm not even thinking about verses right now. That's just one thing me I throw out there. But me I say this. We need this right now. Lively up the place again. When I say recently, La Boss and Jamil came and did their thing. And them run well left the thing and it does fizzle out. Which I thought was a waste of opportunity for lock the place and put out some good tune. And you know what I say? In these times, that means uh, when time, the time clear up and uh, outside start keep again, that they will be in heavy demand because they, they, they did keep the place hot while everybody was under quarantine. And what better place, um, time to do it than now when people sit down at them yard because they have to be there. Give us some entertainment, DeMarco. Give us some entertainment, my youth. You see me? Me also, I said that to Massacre, give us some entertainment, my youth. And that is what I am looking forward to. Now, what I want my audience to do that's listening to this is to leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me which side you would side with. Was it going to be Bon Up, Bon Up Road, the Marco thing, or would it be Genocide with Massacre for you? Also, do you think, do you think that Massacre would win a clash over DeMarco. Or do you think that DeMarco would beat him badly? I want to drag your memory a little bit enough. Because I know say, a lot of people always onto what is current. If it's hot, hip and popping right now on the scene. Then I doubt everybody want to depend. But they tend to forget that, you know them have a saying, young bud no no storm. But I think Massacre ain't no young bud no more. He's been out there for a while now, so I'm sure I already have weathered. He has already weathered some storms. Him got through a lot of criticism about his performance and all these other things. Live show, the sound good, blah, blah. And he's another one that is growing in his craft and has dedicated himself to making himself better. And to grow in the industry and become a giant within the industry. And he certainly is on his way. You know what I mean, I say? So, with that said, let's not forget the Marco is a triple threat. Yeah, my vice crack when I say triple threat. Trip, triple threat for me. Meaning, say, him can write, pen him own lyrics, right? Then, get up and go in, they go voice the same lyrics and melodies. And then, come out and run the whole studio and mix master engineer him own thing. You understand? So that's a dangerous person right there when we're talking about this music thing. So back to the question again, and I want you to really think about it. Does Massacre still need to do some work in order to get to the level where DeMarco is? A lot of y'all are going to say, what level? DeMarco, they are no level because you know, I pray the thing locally. Stop praying dance locally because it's a global thing now. So you see, if I don't go Jamaica, you there, or I don't go one place, you catch up, you can't really answer that question there. You have to be global. 
You understand? And as much as Massacre Hatta Yard, you have to know that DeMarco is cracking out there as well. Right? So, tell me which side you're upon and tell me why you think that your artists who you choose in this one would actually win. I don't know if DeMarco is going to give Massacre the time of day, but he definitely cannot say right now that he's not worth it. You know, one time a youngin want fight an OG, and the OG say, "Look, youngin, I got little soldiers to handle you. You don't get to my level yet. Check this out. Matter of fact, go get your weight up. And when you get your weight up, you can come back, right? No massacre. Step to the arena, cause what? The man say, "I'm weight up." That means ain't no more arguing. You have to shoot a fair one right now. Who agree? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. It's Soul Flow TV. I'm out. Dance all, cast all. Peace.